Hey, so this Valentine's Day, instead of the traditional um, dollar store Valentine cards, which I get for my kids to give to their classrooms, I was inspired by my friend Jessica to create love bugs for them to give to their friends. And she got the idea from Tori Spelling, Tori Spelling's website. Initially, I didn't want to do it. I was like, that sounds like a lot of work. But then I decided to do the craft just with my own kids to see how they liked it, and they loved it. And I was really surprised by how quickly and easily it was. So. I know I'm late to share it with you, I apologize for that, but keep it in mind for next year or perhaps you could have all the stuff in your house. It's really not a lot of things to create these adorable love bugs. You may already have it in your house and uh, you can whip it up with your kids to give to siblings or grandparents or um, just keep for themselves on Valentine's Day. So here we go. So here are some of the love bugs. I went to the dollar store to get my yarn, so I didn't get the best yarn, but they still turned out adorable. So you make these little pom-poms, and it's easy enough for kids to make themselves. And then I just got a package of these heart, um, these heart foam hearts from the dollar store. But again, you don't need you don't need to put a bottom on it, and you don't need to put anything on the little antennae if you don't want to. So once you make the pom-pom, you just glue on some googly eyes and a nose, and I just use pipe cleaners for the little antenna here. And then we're gonna pop them in these little boxes along with some chocolates for the friends. And the little docs, boxes I got from the dollar store as well. I think it was eight for a dollar from Dollarama here in Canada. Again, you don't, wouldn't need a little, you wouldn't need to have put it in a box though. But I think the cutest part is this little poem. You can find this on my website. Um, you can find this poem, uh, the downloaded, like I already have it all typed out. All you have to do is download the PDF and print it. It says, this little love bug is just for you. It brings you happiness and lots of love too. When you play with it, good luck you'll see. And just remember, it was made by me. Now I'm gonna quickly show you how you can make these pom-poms really easy on your hand. That's how um, Jessica told me I should do it. Now I have made pom-poms other more traditional ways, but this way was really, really fast and easy for small children to do. So aren't they adorable? I made 40 of them which is a little bit crazy, but they're these really cute little things that we're giving to each of their friends, a little love bug as opposed to um, chocolate and candy and things like that that I would normally give, or dollar store valentines. So stay tuned to see how you can make them in under a minute. Hey, so here we go, making a quick pom-pom. Traditionally, you'd want to use like a round disc or something like that. They even actually sell pom-pom makers. You can buy at craft stores. Uh, this is actually a divider that I used for my closet. It worked really well, but also like a large spatula or a wooden spoon would work well too. But the fastest and easiest way, especially for kids, is to use your hand. So the smaller pom-poms, you'd use two fingers or three fingers, but for kids, generally, you want to use all four fingers. So you just have your yarn. Again, this is cheap, crappy yarn from the dollar store, but so you have to wind it a little bit more than you normally would with good yarn but you just sort of pinch it and then you start going I mean you can go really 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 fast um, and quickly create your pom-poms you want to go 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 until you have it pretty thick the better the yarn the less you'll have to do because it's a puffier yarn and um, the, the more you go the thicker and fuller your pom-pom love bug will be so when you're done Here's what I do. I mean, I don't know the real proper way, but this is how I was doing it. I just cut it like that and I slid it off my fingers. Um, you see how it's still keeping a circle there? And then what I just did was tie it in the middle with a nice tight double knot. And you wanna make sure you pull it really thick so it kind of um, dipples in. If you don't, the yarn might slide out. So you wanna make a double knot right in the middle and I'll show you in a minute, sorry. Um, for some reason, I'm, I said under a minute, I'm having trouble tying a, a knot for some reason. I'm having one of those days. Okay, so you'll just, it'll just be like that. So you've had the loop and then now you've tied it to secure it in place. Now all you wanna do is run your scissors in the one side of the loop here. If you miss a couple, it's okay. You can get them after. And then you simply wanna cut. These are the worst scissors ever, but <laughs> I did it. Um, you simply wanna cut again. Again, if you miss a loop, no big deal, you can go back. So this is not gonna be a perfect pom-pom, but I think for a love bug, the pom-poms look cuter when they're all messy and crazy. So you just sort of, you know, fluff it up, I guess. And again, the kids could do all the part, including the tying. This, your kids, my five-year-old could make one absolutely no problem. So then you're left with this adorable little pom-pom, and then you simply glue on some googly eyes and a pom-pom nose, 
and you have an adorable little love bug. We also, for ours, added antennae and a little hearts on top with a glue gun and a heart on the bottom. Definitely a glue gun works best for attaching the, the, the stuff, the nose and the eyes to it. But you've got this really shagamuffins, adorable little love bug that you can give for Valentine's Day, your kids can give to their friends, or they can make just for themselves as a fun craft. Anyways, that's your tip, and we'll see you next time.